Okay, question number eight. The depth of water d meters in a harbor on a particular day is modeled by the equation d equals 3 minus 1.2 sine pi t over 6, where t is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 19. And t is a number of hours after 5 a.m. Okay, 5,500 five hours, that's 5 a.m. And pi t over 6 is measured in radians. Okay, so just in case, check your calculators in radian mode, this is, so that's fine. Okay, show that the depth of water at 6 is 2.5 meters. So you can say at 600 hours in the morning, oh, 0600 hours, t is equal to 1. t is the number of hours and it's after 5, so this is 1 hour after 5. So the depth in the, in the, in the, of water in the harbour will be given by substituting instead of t, 1. So you have 3 minus 1.2 times the sine of pi over 6 and pi over 6 is 30 degrees okay so uh, sine of 30 degrees is a half so it's 3 minus 1.2 times a half okay times a half okay so that's equal to 3 minus 0 0.6 which is 2.4 meters. Okay, pretty simple. Then it says state the greatest value of d. So we know that d is equal to 3 minus 1.2 times sine um, pi t over 6. Now it says state, so they don't want any explanation. You just have to write d equals and give the biggest possible value of d. Now what we know is that this value of sine pi t over 6 the maximum value it can reach this particular part its maximum value is equal to 1 and its minimum value is equal to minus 1 um, so for example if this was equal to 1 you'd have 3 minus 1.2 times 1 so 3 minus 1.2 times 1 and that would give you uh, 1.8 okay that would be d equals 1.8 uh, supposing this was minus 1 you'd have 3 minus 1.2 times minus 1 which would be 3.2 plus sorry 3 plus uh, 1.2 which is 4.2 so that must be the biggest value of d 4.2 meters okay because this the, the thing that changes here is this. It can range from, as the sine curve goes, as you know, it ranges from plus 1 to minus 1. Okay, So this is the highest and this is the lowest it can be. However, this part here doesn't change how high it goes. This just changes how it shifts across and how it's stretched across. It doesn't change how it's stretched vertically. So the, this will always have a maximum value of 1 and a minimum value of minus 1. Okay, the sine curve. So if this is 1, you'll get 3 minus 1.2 for the whole expression, which is 1.8. If this is minus 1, you're going to have 3 minus 1.2 times minus 1, which is 3 plus 1.2, which is 4.2. Okay, so d equals 4.2 is the answer for part b. Okay, part c. Okay, so part c says, find the first two times of the day after 5 a.m. when the depth of the water in the harbour is 3.5 meters. So we got d minus 1.2 times sine, d minus 1.2 times the sine of pi t over 6. Okay, so we're going to find when the height is 3.5 meters, the first two times of the day. Now let's look at our limits. Our limits is t is between 0 and 19. Okay, our limits are t is between 0 and 19. So let's change these limits according to what's in here. So you're going to have um, to multiply uh, t by pi, okay, over 6. Pi t over 6, that's multiplied by pi over 6. If I multiply 0 by pi over 6, it stays as 0. But I have to multiply this by pi over 6, so I get 19 pi over 6. Okay, so my limits are going to be, that's less than, 
Okay, although I don't think I need to worry about the upper limit because we only want to have this first two solutions. The first two times, you see? All right. Okay, so how to solve this equation? Um, sorry, what am I doing? Uh, D equals 3 minus. What am I doing? That's not D minus, that's 3 minus. <laughs> it's 3 minus. 1.2 sine pi over t equals d. Okay, so that d is 3.5. So when d equals 3.5, okay, then you get, when d equals 3.5, let's go back to the original equation, that's 3.5, so 3 minus 1.2 sine pi t over 6 equals 3.5. So we've got to solve this equation. So I want to make sine pi t over 6 the subject of this formula. So what I can do is I can say 3 minus 3.5 is equal to 1.2 sine pi t over 6. Okay, so that's going to give me 0 0.5 uh, minus 0 0.5 equals 1.2 times sine and pi t over 6. So we can say that 1.2 1.2 uh, oh we can say that the sine of pi t over 6 is equal to minus 0 0.5 divided by 1.2. So we can say pi t over 6 is equal to the shift sine of basically minus 5 over 12. Okay, so let's see what that gives us. So we're going to say inverse sine of minus... 5 over 12. Okay, this is in radians. Yep, so you get minus 0 0.42977. Okay, let me just store that as A, in case I need it again. So, I get minus 0 0.42977. So, pi t over 6 equals 0 0.427 see 42977 and it's negative okay so that's the first solution that the calculator gives me that represents a solution over here um, negative ASTC Okay, so it represents a solution here somewhere. Okay, that's the first solution, which um, it's not going to be included because we, we have to be bigger than zero. But what we're going to do is we're going to do 180 minus this to find another solution, which is going to be the solution over here. Okay, so if we do 180 minus this, it's going to give us that solution. 180 minus minus that. So we're going to end up with the other solution. So I'm going to press shift pi so that's pi minus my answer is going to give me 3.5713 3.5713 3.5713 okay so I got it to a few more decimal places I didn't round this I just wrote it, those numbers down to more decimal places than I need so that's this solution over here okay it's pi minus this value so it's pi minus minus that so that's what we're going to get all right, so now um, that is another solution. So we need another solution because this one is not going to be included. Okay, so the next solution up is going to be 360 more than this. 360 more than this. Okay, you're going to go all the way around. Okay, so we got to now take our original value and add to it 360. So I, re I already stored it under A. So I'm going to add 360 but in radians, which is 2 pi. Okay, so that gives me 5.8534, 5.8534, okay, so there we have, um, oops, yeah, there we have these, this, this is not going to be part of the solution because it's going to be negative, so our time is going to be 6 multiplied by 3.5713 divided by pi and 6 times 5.8534 divided by 
pi. So those will be our two terms. I'll write them down here. So let's see what we have. So I've got this one already saved. So I'll do times 6 divided by pi. Okay, that gives me 11.179. So this is the second time. 11 point, what was it? 179, 179, dot, dot, dot. Okay, that's the second time. And the first time is, that's not the time, that's how many hours after 5 a.m., by the way. Okay, and the first time is going to be given by um, 6 times 3.5713 divided by pi, which gives us 6.8206, 6.8206. Eight two zero six. Continuing on. Okay, so those are the those are not the times. The question asks us. How does that question ask us? It says, find the first two times of the day after five a.m. Okay, so what we got to do is to find the times of the day. Okay, the times we have to add five a.m. because this is the this is the number of hours after five a.m. So the times are going to be five plus. 6.8206 and 5 plus 11.179 so this is going to give me 11.8206 and this is going to give me 16.179 okay so I want to change this into um, time so that's 11 hours and how many minutes well we can just multiply that by 0 0.8206 times 60 that will convert that into minutes that's going to be 40 1149 that's 1149 does it say to the nearest minute or anything okay to the nearest minute okay good yes 1149 all right and this is going to be so we take 0 0.179 and see how many minutes that is because that's an hours times by 60 to make it into minutes that gives you so that's 11 and 11 11 no 16 okay 16 hours and 11 minutes 10.74 is so 16 11 so these are the two times so this is the time one and this is time two the first two times when the the water reaches that length, that height of 3.5 meters. And there we have the answer to this question.